What's up everybody? Jason Page here, and I know I haven't uploaded in a while. I've been very busy. Life has been extremely hectic as of late, but I wanted to upload a quick video to show you how I am creating this image right here. The tools that I'm using are the blue color hood, the new leaf plexi attached to Frank's RGB light. I'm using three different colors on this, the orange, yellow, and red. I am using the blue fiber optic with a blue screw on color filter. And then the new crystal light pens. These things are awesome. I love them. Um, new and improved light pen coming very soon. I'm not sure if these tools are going to be on the website by the time I upload this video. Crystal light pens definitely will not be up there. They will be coming for Christmas time though. So these things will be up there for Christmas. Uh, the leaf plexi should be up on the website. If it's not, it will be very, very soon. The settings that I'm using are ISO 200 at F8. Shooting on bulb mode, pretty long exposure. This one is taking quite a bit of time to create, but this new leaf plexi is coming out really cool. And I'm excited about this. I think this is gonna open up a world of possibilities for me and hopefully for you. So anyway, let's get into it. So the way I'll be creating this image is using the sheet technique. This is adopted from Jason Reinhardt. I will put a link to Jason's sheet tutorial down below. Um, I will be using the leaf plexiglass to create this big tree. And the way I'm gonna be doing that is just like I would do with wings or a flower or something like that, all I'm doing is turning it on and turning it off, turning it on, turning it off, moving it around, leaving an imprint of this leaf shape in the image. I will be doing it from behind the sheet here. So when the lights go out, I'll be on the opposite side of the sheet creating the image. And that is going to eventually over time create this big tree with a ton of leaves. The blue color hood I'll just be uh, using to illuminate the sheet, kind of just painting in the scene, kind of giving it that sky effect. The blue fiber optic I will be using just to add some texture into the sky. The little crystal light pen is what I'll be creating the trunk out of. The other thing that I'll be adding into this image is a stencil. So this is just a bird that I cut out of cardboard and painted black. I'll be placing this on the sheet like so and illuminating it from behind like this with the fiber optic to create that silhouette effect of the bird. I've also got a piece of tape tape back here on the back side of the sheet. It's gonna create this hole where the bird is going to be flying to. So it'll look like the bird is flying home into this beautiful fall colored tree. Starting the exposure now, settings again are ISO 200 F8 shooting on bulb mode. The first tool that I'll be using is the leaf plexiglass attached to Frank's RGB light using the universal connector. The way I'm going to create the tree is just holding the plexiglass up against the sheet, or again, the back side of the sheet here, holding it up against the sheet and just turning the light on and off really quick. And I'm going to move that all over the sheet to create this tree. I'm going to be using the red, the orange, and the yellow as I go through here and just create all the different leaves of the tree. Here I'm using the yellow light to create more leaves, just giving it more texture. Now I'm using the red light just to add more leaves throughout the tree here. There's no real rhyme or reason to where I'm putting these leaves. I'm just kind of putting them all over the place because I want a lot of color in this tree and just these really pretty fall colors. And down here at the bottom, I'm just going to add in some leaves as if they have fallen down from the tree. Again, this is, you know, the, my concept here is that this is a fall tree, fall colors, the leaves are falling down. So I'm just going to add in some more leaves down here at the bottom as if they have fallen off the tree. Again, using the same colors. Here I'm using the blue color hood to paint in the entire sky. 
I can kind of go all over the place with the blue light because I don't need to worry about where the tree is because the brightness of the leaves is going to overpower any blue light that is uh, shined in that same area. So you might have a little bit of blue like shining through the tree, but to me that would look as if, you know, the it would look pretty natural to me if you had a little blue light coming through where the tree is. But generally what's gonna happen is those leaves are gonna be much brighter than the blue light that I'm shining here. So I don't need to worry about um, any kind of light spill or anything like that. The lighter and brighter parts of the image are gonna overpower any dimmer or darker areas. Here I'm using the light pen to create the trunk of the tree. Now that black piece of tape that I have back here is going to block the light coming through to the other side, to camera side, so it's going to look like the trunk has a hole in it where that bird is going to be flying to. Here I'm using the blue fiber optic with the blue screw on color filter to create the silhouette of the bird. I'm just taking the cutout and pressing it up against the sheet and illuminating it from behind using the fiber optic. Now I'm just going to brush in with the fiber optic here all through the sky and just add a little more color and texture into the sky. that should be it for this exposure. Now we'll stop it and see what we got. So that one came out pretty cool. Uh, happy with the way it looks. I'm gonna do one more just because I wanna put a couple more leaves on the tree and everything, but uh, for the most part, came out pretty cool. I like it, and I hope you guys like it too. If you guys like this video, please do hit the thumbs up button, subscribe down below. And as always, thank you very much for the support, and until the next video, get out there and get creative.